Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to share the career path which one can follow to pursue their career in computer science. This video is dedicated to all my students who have recently passed plus two with flying colors and want to go for graduation in computer science. And also for those who have graduated already and looking forward to do masters. But they are confused that which course or path they should take to fulfill their dreams. This phase comes in every student's life when he is bashed with so many career options which leaves him totally confused. But you need not to worry because by the end of this video you will be able to take your own decisions and find out your right career path. I have categorized the courses in levels so that it becomes easier for you to check out at which level you are right now and which path you can follow in future. Let's begin with it. Level 1 I have given level 1 to plus 2. In plus two, you can take any of the following disciplines in order to come in computer science field. You can go for medical, non-medical, commerce or arts. Having maths or computer science at plus two levels gives you an edge in graduation, but that is not compulsory. So if you do not have maths or computer subject in plus two, you can still do graduation in computer science. Let's move on to level number two. Level two is your graduation. The courses which you can take up at the graduation level. First is BCA, which is a three years course. Then comes BTEC, BE in CSC or IT, which is a four year course. Then BSC IT or BSC non-medical with computer applications as one of their subject that is a three years course and then your BA that is Bachelor of Arts with computer science as one of its subject which is again a three years course. At level three I have uh, placed masters which and you can do any of the following masters after your bachelors. You can go for MCA which is two to three years course depending on the university that you are taking up from. Then comes MTEC or ME in uh, CSC or IT which is again a two years course, MSAIT two years course, MBAIT two years course and PGDC which is a diploma for a one year course. At level four we have MPhil in computer science or PhD or also known as TPhil in computer science. Now I am going to discuss each of the level individually. Let's discuss the eligibility criteria for BCA and BACSC. For BCA, B, BACSC, you need to have uh, any of the following disciplines in your plus two, that is medical, non-medical, commerce and arts. It means any student from any discipline in plus two can take up BCA or BA as a graduation. Eligibility criteria for BSc IT or BSc non-medical computer application, BTEC or BECSC IT is one that is you need to take non-medical at your plus two level. Eligibility criteria for MTEC or ME CSC IT, this is level three that is after the graduation. After graduation, you can uh, go for BTEC, BECSC IT if you want to take up MTEC or ME. CSEIT or uh, post graduation of uh, MSCIT or MCA. After MSCIT or MCA, you can go for MTEC or MECSEIT. Eligibility criteria for MCA, MSCIT is as follows BTEC or BECSEIT, BCA, BSEIT, BSC non medical with computer application, which is applicable only for MSCIT then PA with computer science plus maths. Please make a note here that you need to take computer science and mathematics both at your BA for taking up MSCIT as a master's. Then uh, at level three, we also have PGDCA and MBAIT. 
these courses do not require specialization in uh, any subject like computer science or mathematics any graduate or postgraduate student in any discipline with or without computer science subject can take up pgtc or mba it at level 4 we have mphil and phd in computer science for this you need to be postgraduate please uh, make sure that you are postgraduate before applying for MPhil or PhD. You, uh, the students of MCA, MTech, ME, CSEIT or MC, uh, MSCIT can uh, go for MPhil or PhD. PhD can be done also after MPhil as it is at the highest level. So uh, with this, I hope uh, you are able to make a right decision uh, in which path you want to go. Uh, so if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button, share it with your friends so that he, they can also take up the right path and subscribe it to get more informational videos. For any suggestions, please or any feedback, please uh, email us at rhetoricsolutionsldh at gmail.com. Thank you. This is